Hello and welcome. Uh, today I have a haul of secondhand dolls that um, are from two different places, but both are, you know, Facebook uh, secondhand uh, toy stores that we have here in Bulgaria. Since we don't have thrift shops, because I guess toys are forbidden in thrift shops because they're deemed dangerous from the European Union. European Union, European Union. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, um, we have Maeve here welcoming you. And also she is showing off her new skirt and her new shoes that she just got these shoes and uh, the skirt are from a Barbie cover review that you know I got pretty cheap with you know this purchase and uh, the doll herself uh, is in my you know to sell pile I'm, I'm not even gonna show you the doll she's She's not it, let's say. Uh, then um, I'm going to start from new to old, basically, with the Barbies. Uh, I got this girl who is the singer or pop star Barbie from a few years back. Uh, she, I, ha I know you know her. I know that people have her, I have seen her on Instagram. She wasn't doing it for me on her, you know, pictures. But uh, now that I'm seeing her in real life, she's actually very beautiful though. And uh, so much so that, you know, if I find that color of uh, body, you know, made to move body for her, I will give her a made to move body. She has this Aliexpress dress, if you remember it, some shoes, and she will just stay on the shelf with the fashionistas. Uh, then I have this Mycene doll, who was in a very bad shape when I got her. Um, This is her face now and I will insert the picture. She looked very crazy. She was giving me of uh, Azula before the Agni Kai vibes, you know, from Avatar. If you, you know, if you know that. <laughs> she looked totally crazy and unhinged and as if she was ready to banish the entire Fire Nation. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I did uh, wash her. She had some stains on her face that I removed with the acne cream and uh, then I had to cut her hair, you know, this short because it had a lot of longer, you know, uh, hairs that were just hanging down. I guess someone chopped the hair but just half of it or something but I was able to, you know, smooth it out and uh, I think she looks very nice now um, this is not her original dress it's just a dress that she came in but I don't have the original outfit and uh, I like it on her for now you know she will be in it sadly I don't have shoes that you know look good with that dress for now but that's okay then we have this Barbie, uh, sorry I got interrupted, this Barbie is some Barbie from the 90s I think, uh, she was a gift from the seller because um, she was a part of a lot of damaged dolls and uh, I wanted her for her outfit which she came wearing this and that's a riding outfit and it's made out of very nice uh, fabric. It doesn't have any, you know, branding. But uh, 
I've been needing, you know, that for a while and uh, <laughs> my cat sniffed. <laughs> uh, anyways, my cat was being crazy <laughs> and sniffed because she was digging into... Anyways, we're here for the dolls, not for the crazy cat. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting something like that for a while and uh, I just asked if she could sell me just this doll because uh, she was in a lot with damaged dolls and she has a serious neck crack that I can fix, you know, with a little bit of super glue, but uh, she's actually a very pretty doll, you know, I didn't really notice the doll, I saw that she was a Barbie from the 90s possibly, but I wasn't interested in her. I was just interested in the outfit. But, uh, you know, she's beautiful and I decided to keep her and I can't identify her. She looks very much like uh, Surf City Barbie. I will have a picture here. But uh, Surf City Barbie, I think, has the hair... You know, the hair part on the other side. Plus, I think that Surf City Barbie has pink lips. And these lips are clearly, you know, cold purple. So, I don't know. And also, I think that Surf Barbie has different, you know, hair type. So, I really don't know who this one is. You know, she may be like a variant of... Uh, Surf City Barbie, but I don't know who she is. Anyways, uh, I did have this uh, dress that is a callback to my first ever video on my channel that was very lame, very long, very sloppy, but at least, you know, the fashion pack that I unboxed was interesting and that was a ballerina dress from that fashion pack. Was, uh, Barbie, you can be anything fashion pack with three outfits, an older one, very cool find. Um, then there was this Barbie. It's in a very sorry shape, but uh, I was able to wash and restore the hair. Yes, she has a few plugs missing here. This side is alright and a few here. But uh, her original hairstyle is, I think, supposed to be like that. So this these missing plugs will cover up perfectly. And uh, I did soak her hair. You know, I boiled it several times. And I soaked it for a long time. 24 hours, actually, in uh, conditioner. And uh, I will fix her, you know. I will... I'm not sure if I will give her a new face or I will fix this one. Uh, I will also fix that. But uh, yeah, she was like a bonus. Then we have this guy. This doll I actually didn't buy now. Uh, I had him for years in a box with other dolls and, you know, I... Recently started appreciating uh, old Barbie dolls. I have appreciation for the new Barbie dolls. And uh, the old Barbie dolls, to me, they aren't... I don't have nostalgia for them. I do have nostalgia for one or two of them. And the rest, I just see old things, you know, when I look at them. I see Barbies with huge, you know, princess gowns and... Wow, that is pretty, you know, I prefer dolls that are dressed, you know, like modern people and, you know, uh, dolls that have articulation, old dolls don't have articulation, I don't like the rubber legs. I didn't have any appreciation for old dolls until maybe, I don't know, half, half a year ago. When something, you know, happened with me and uh, I just, I like them now, you know, I care to collect them and I started looking into them.
probably when I found my first bubble cut Barbie, I was like, you know, she's super old. She has very specific charm about her and she's like an artifact and actually having, you know, holding a doll that is this old in your hands is actually pretty cool, you know. She She's like an artifact, yeah, what Barbie was. And um, I started looking into 70s uh, dolls and I saw him on, you know, on some page and I was like, wait a minute, I have this doll, you know, somewhere in a box with undesired dolls and uh, yeah, funnily enough, I have him. He is from the 70s, I think, and uh, there are a few versions of him. He's basically from what I was able to learn, you know, for my brief time of, you know, having an interest in uh, all those. Uh, basically, the second face that Ken ever used. And uh, he has a blonde version and I think the blonde version with uh, suntan skin, you know, the, the darker skin color is have more dolls made while you know with the brown hair and the blue eyes and the paler skin color they have fewer you know I don't know the amount of dolls made but just fewer different dolls with that face from what I was able to you know to find out please if you know more you can tell me any information I appreciate or if you have a blog uh, don't link the blog because or channels because uh, YouTube will you know delete it as spam but tell me the channel name or the blog name and I will gladly go and read and watch videos about that but uh, I think I was able to identify him I was wondering between three dolls of uh, that look like that but because uh, he didn't have any of his outfit you know it was hard but there there is a coat here on his back it says uh, 1088-0500 space 2 and then Mattel incorporated 1968 and uh, Hong Kong. I googled that and I think that uh, he is uh, that though, but I might be wrong. If I am, please, and you know, tell me. I want to know. Uh, I did put him in that outfit. This is the outfit from AliExpress that I showed you in my previous video. It actually looks good on him. It looks very lame and plain on the new dolls but uh, on him I think it looks good also I had this uh, shirt in that video put as this the front but actually I think it looks better when this is the front uh, then the rest of the dolls aren't Barbie uh, we have this guy who is a clone doll from the same era as this guy over there and I couldn't really find exactly which one he is. He has absolutely no markings anywhere. He has these very interesting hands that are fully rubber, but they don't have, you know, wire inside. Uh, I think this shirt and the pants are... The pants 100% are original to him because you can't even remove them, you know, you can, but you have to cut them up, which I didn't want to do. He has the twist here and the bend and snap knees, like also this guy has the bend and snap knees and they, his work and his work very nicely. He has a similar face mold, but not really. It's a different face mold. I did ask in two uh, doll groups if anyone knew who he is. People think that he can be 
some sort of Las Vegas doll, but uh, the mode is different. You know, with clone dolls, you never know, but uh, I really like him, you know. I like clone dolls, especially old clone dolls. The older, the, the more I'm interested in them. And, uh, you know, that's another thing that actually, you know, changed. I didn't like clone dolls before, but now I have appreciation for them. The next doll is... This giant, he's actually the same scale. Let me put him next to Ken. He is the same scale, but he is huge. Uh, he is Eric from The Little Mermaid. Uh, he had these boots on. I'm not sure if they're his, but uh, they say Disney on the bottom. So I don't know. Maybe they're his. They feel like... They are big. Uh, the pants I had and the shirt and this I made. So he kind of, you know, I tried to make them kind of look like what he's wearing in the movie. It's not, you know, it doesn't look that, you know, it's not movie accurate. But if you don't think too much about it, it actually, you know, looks like him. It gives you the feel. I like uh, his face mode. I don't, I don't, I feel strange that he's so heavy. He has this sort of articulation. He can tell you how big is the fish he caught and that's it. And uh, he only has Disney here and that's the only marking. If you know which Eric he is, please tell me he's the first, I think, Disney store uh, prints that I got. I, I do have some Disney princes, but all of them are from by Mattel. I have the princesses, you know, from the Disney store, but the only prints from the Disney store that I have is uh, him arrow prints. S from the Disney store, this big and heavy, you know, I like, I like that he has brought body there he is he is massive <laughs> he's a nice he's a, he's a nice doll you know uh, and the last doll actually for this video is this cutie this is my first ever fail fix doll and uh, i have seen these dolls being unboxed she came with her, you know, fell, fell face, which is, what am I supposed to do with it now, you know, when her face is revealed? I guess kids would play with it, but as an adult dog collector, I don't know what to do with it. But anyways, I've been, you know, seeing them being unboxed. Uh, we don't have them in Bulgaria. At least I haven't seen them in any of our stores. Uh, I can buy them from Amazon, but shopping from Amazon takes time and, uh, you know, extra money for shipping and stuff. And I do it, but only for, you know, those that I really, 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 really want. And, you know, I didn't know if I want her, you know, any of them. I just knew that I kind of like them and I would like to get one to see, you know, how they feel and... If I like them and uh, this was an amazing opportunity. She is a second hand. She was naked when I got her. You know, no accessories except for the weird face. I made her this outfit. It's just from this shiny stretch fabric and I think it suits her. And these are just some random cheapy earrings that I had. But I think that they go nicely with the outfit. And uh, these shoes are leaf doll shoes that I painted to be black. They were pink. She has that sort of foot, you know. It's smaller than most. Maybe it's the same size as the LOL surprise doll, but honestly, I'm too lazy to get up and get the LOL surprise uh, doll to check the feet, but... Uh, 
Uh, I I really like her articulation. I like her face a lot. It's very cute mode. Um, I like her proportions. You know, she's small and with a big big head, but the molding is just very pretty. The only thing that I find a bit strange about her is the way that her eyes are made. You know, when you rotate the head, it looks like they are following you. And that is because uh, there is a thick glass part here. And the print of the eye is actually, you know, you can see it's back, you know. And this gives you the illusion that her eyes are following you, which this <laughs> is a bit creepy. When I put her on the shelf, basically she's looking at me like that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when she sits and is on an upper shelf, she's like that, you know, her head <laughs> goes back to the back and she's like, <laughs> but uh, other than that uh, I think that she's a super cute doll and uh, you know if I see another one I will get it because I really like them I don't know if I would get them new if I would spend the money on them you know new but uh, I like her and uh, by the way her hair is very good quality and it was very matted, but uh, it restored perfectly and uh, I love the color and uh, I'm very happy to have, you know, finally have actually one of these dolls. I, I can say now that uh, I really like them. And that concludes my uh, haul of secondhand uh, dolls that I found this uh, few weeks, basically, you know, I collected them from two orders online and uh, I washed them and they're ready to, you know, join my collection. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I guess I'll talk to you in the comments. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.